Ok. The Return the Divinity de Céline et de Germain. Les combattants euh, du futur. Bon alors. Faut savoir que j'ai discuté encore avec des potes qui m'ont quand même globalement dit que j'étais pas très futé parce que je vais louper quand même des trucs importants du côté de la plage. Donc elle va essayer d'y retourner. Je sais pas où je l'ai loupé. A priori j'ai loupé des... Ah ah Oh, J'aurais dû euh, me téléporter. Je peux pas. Non, comment je fais pour. Et comment je fais pour centrer. Euh... Oh. Ah Mais. Putain. Pas je plais. Ah bah voilà bien ça putain mais qu'est ce qui me trompe d'xp trop bien <rire> Ishmachel, donc shell euh, coquillage en anglais, hein. comme le shell de, de, de Linux. Mmh. Pas besoin d'argent. Then there's the promise of treasure to boot. Let's throw him into the sea. 
Agreed. Let's send him home. Liberator! Kind benefactor! Bless me the might of your fee-bound fish. The sea! The sea! I have returned! Where every wave feels like a mermaid sink. May the bounty of the deep be yours along with my eternal gratitude! Oh, the XP. 9 PV et de l'or. Tu as beaucoup trop de choses. Et eh ben, tu vas l'envoyer à jardin. Ah pardon, ok. Allez où Ah mais il manque que... Euh... Ok. Euh, partie nord. Oh, vous 90 points encore. Good luck out there, Hunter. Evil lurks beyond size seal grandpa. Pas wesh euh Adon de Bamos. Ah. Il y avait ce coin là, mais il y avait aussi Esmeralda qui était juste à côté. Est-ce que je commencerai pas par Esmeralda Peut-être, hein. Allons voir Esmeralda. Boutique d'Esmeralda, bah voilà, très bien. Allons la voir. L'agent de sécurité du, ma du magasin, on s'en fout. Septimus. Legion's greeting. I have been informed about your heroics on the beach. Were that I had been there to partake in the battle. But my duties lie here. Sworn as I am to protect Lady Esmeralda from the rabble that would enforce summary justice on her. Even though she is, until proven guilty, wholly innocent. I am Septimus, seventh son in a household of nine. Legionnaires all. Me. And two brothers of mine were assigned to Sicil from day one. Alas, both of them have long since fallen in battle against the dead. But never shall I lose heart. Long as a single legionnaire stands, all of us remain undefeated in the eyes of the gods. So fair a lady I have seldom seen in all of Riveron, my friend. And I have traveled more extensively than migratory birds do. She stands accused of murder, but in my mind, her presumed guilt is a fallacy, and indeed a fabrication. Steadfast will I guard her. Never will I waver unless absolute proof of her culpability should be brought before me. And I hold no such proof exists. Okay. Jake's murder is, in a word, a tragedy. He was well loved in all of Sicilia. The Council of Seven couldn't have wished for a better ambassador. That he of all people should have braved the undead siege for so long, only to be felled by foul sorcery, is heartrending. And what questions are those? This place is practically a tomb, and these Sicilians are constantly crying for our attention. There's a zombie in my garden, an orc ate my baby. My sheep, my sheep is gone, oh woe is me. It never ends. 
I'll be grateful when our reinforcements finally arrive. Maybe they'll manage to muster the will to care. Okay. I remember waking up with a head full of hammers two years ago. The drill sergeant barking away. Up you get, lads. We sail for Sicile. Them's in need of the Legion over there. They certainly were, and they are still. Only we cannot grant them victory. For I have yet to see the mortal soul that can put those undead bastards to rest once and for all. Lords above, grant me patience. You're a source hunter, aren't you? Here because you think I killed my husband. How many times do I need to state and restate my complete innocence in the matter? I am Esmeralda, wife of Jake, and now, alas, his widow. Poor man. We were both so young when we married. He so rich and I so poor. But his one and only princess just the same. Like I told just about every legionnaire in town, I don't know anything about poor Jake's murder. I want his killer found and tried, but everyone suspects me of this evil deed. And you're no different, are you? So what happened? Some of them tittle-tattling crab chasers down the pub call me a murderous gold digger and you believe them? These insinuations truly go beyond the pale. Oh, I think I'm getting one of my headaches. Starstone? I've never heard of such a thing. Dear Jake had a mineral collection, yes. As far as I knew, it was one of his pastimes, nothing more. Do you mean to imply he collected something dangerous? Something that may have gotten him into trouble? Oh, this is all too much. I feel like I'm drifting from nightmare into nightmare. Well, what do you want to know? Ah, ça serait cool ça. Bon, j'ai pas assez d'argent. Can you tell this is the most ancient city in Andervale? That pagan statue jutting out from the harbour is thousands of years old, in fact. If an orcish cannon damages any of the ancient structures, there'll be hell to pay. They came out of nowhere. Must have been, oh, two years ago now? The very heart of winter. I smelt them before I saw them in the night. Torchlight reflected in their eyes like it does in predators. But these were no wolves. These were our ancestors, come to devour their offspring. He seems My to be quite God adamant about her innocence. We'll need and handsome we'll need to look for evidence. Kind if we want Septimus. to prove she actually did You must did have fought evil. many a battle, am I right? In fact, I bet you're a real war hero. Oh, I'm no hero, Esmeralda. Okay. I'm just doing my duty for the Legion. Well, you certainly are my hero. The rock upon which I may rest my weary soul in these trying and troubled times. Never fear, my lady. As long as I'm around, no hell on your head. Allez, on va en avant. Tine des gens. Non, il n'y a personne. Rien d'intéressant. Ok. Peut-être que j'aille à la Légion. Hein. Bonjour. Ah Maxine. Ah bah tiens. Oh, golly gosh. 
One who flaunts the highways and byways of silly old Cecile with the easy elegance of a puss with her tail in the air. I do declare such a sight is rather rare around here. But where are my manners? I am Maxine, and you must be one of those hunters one hears so much about. Charmed, I'm sure. I'm the mayor's cat, don't you know? Born and raised on velvets and viands of most exquisite varieties. Maxine rhymes with queen, after all, and dearest, that is hardly a coincidence. Oh, he's a darling old Tom, isn't he? Pours over tales in love with me, and who can blame him? The feelings, well, it's rather mutual, actually. But that pet of a puss simply doesn't have a penny to his name. At the risk of sounding as shallow as a spaniel, I can't but admit my love does not come unconditionally. What if we were to have kittens, he and I? They'd jolly well starve, wouldn't they, with an alley cat for a papa? Oh, dear Sam, he's such a good old bean. But he does rather reside at the bottom of the scratching pole, doesn't he? And dear me, one must have at least a mite of standards. But of course, darling. Oh, this quaint little town is a tad too parochial for one of my more urbane tastes. But one has to make do, hasn't one? The fresh sea air does go to great lengths to invigorate one's spirit, that much I'll admit. And it is rather jolly to watch the ships sail in, laden with all kinds of exotic wares, full of the little treats the mayor likes to spoil me with. Darling man, he just... Heavens forbid! No, fear is rather too strong a term there, hunter dearest. The predator's instinct is a trait we share, you and I. And though those rancid ramblers may not be quite as easy to put to the claw as mice are... Okay. Mhm. Ok, on va parler à ce monsieur. Oh, it's you. Come closer then. Closer? My ears aren't what they used to be. Nor my eyes for that matter. Yes, hello, source hunter. Our city welcomes you. My elf? What elf? Oh, oh myself. I am Cecil, mayor of Cyseal and husband of the stately Cecilia. I've been the mayor here for decades, and I'm quite eager to see Cyseal through these difficult times. Yes, very difficult times indeed. What? Oh, you mean Cyseal? Very difficult times indeed. As though the death of Jake and by source magic no less weren't enough, we're also facing all sorts of brutish intruders. The undead have overrun all but one northern trade route, while the orcs are making a habit of savaging our beaches. That's not to mention that at the top of this whole caboodle, there's rumors of some new religious sect or cult or some such sticking its tendrils into the innocent, seven-fearing folks of Sysiel. And, uh, <clears throat> while we're on the subject of troubles, I myself have a private matter I'd like to bring to your attention. It involves a magic relic, I rather foolishly sought, a weapon called the Staff of Pergamon. Okay. Jake murdered? Oh yes, yes, now I recall, indeed. I could hardly believe it myself. The council and I have certainly had our differences over the years, but old squabbles evaporate under such circumstances. Most of the townsfolk are certain Jake's wife Esmeralda is responsible. In fact, the Legion have taken her into protective custody to keep her safe from the mob. As you can imagine, I've known Esmeralda for years. That business between her and the Duke of Ferrell was always a bit... Um, suggestive. But I've never had cause to suspect her of violence. Still, one never knows for sure. An all right bloke, apart from all this... Esmeralda nonsense. The whole town knows the only goal of his business trips to Sysil is to spend a night or two at the King Crab Inn with Mrs. Counselor. Mm -hmm. What? The undead? Yes, for the past two years those blasted skeletons have all but suffocated this city. With all but one trade route overrun, 
Sisiel's once torrential commerce has slowed to a pathetic trickle. The one of what now? Oh, you're speaking gibberish. Ah, you mean the staff of Pergamon. Yes, yes. I was expecting a shipment of weapons, and among the cargo was this very powerful, very rare staff. I managed to place the order through means somewhat, atypical to a government official. Cecil proved an old fool, though, for the merchant slated to deliver it to me has just informed me that the damn thing has gone missing. I fear it may have fallen into the wrong hands, and I wonder if you could retrieve it for me. His name is Conrad, captain of the Tide Splitter, a merchant ship still docked at the Sicil Harbor. You can talk to him if you think it'd help, but I'd quite like to avoid getting the Legion involved. The staff itself contains a shard of an ore, highly valued for its use in the weapons of war. I know use of the material to be forbidden, but I was desperate to do something to aid the townsfolk against the undead. Well, I... I do believe that something your parents ought to have discussed with you long ago, Source Hunter. But I suppose if... if you really don't know, I'd be remiss if I didn't at least explain the basics. Ah, you see, when a lady and a fellow find each other rather nice, well, rather more than nice, they occasionally, <clears throat> well, they, ah. <laughs> oh, this is nonsense. I'm the mayor for the seventh sake. I can't be bothered to chat all day about the birds and the bees when Sicil's on the siege by orcs, undead, and cultists. That depends. What kind of berries are you? Ah, the library. Yes, yes, you must have a visit. It's the gem of Sicil. Would you like to have a look? I'll escort you upstairs myself. Marvelous. I knew that dark. What? Oh, yes. This library is the jewel in Sicil's crown, the beacon of culture and learning in our fair city. My Victoria has every volume you could possibly imagine, and she's got every speck of information about this place packed into her brilliant brain. Yes, Victoria's come a long way from that little bundle of paws and teeth I adopted so long ago. Ah, it brings a tear to my eye just seeing her here among her beloved books. What? Oh, yes, yes. I'll be on my way back downstairs now. Please introduce yourself. I know Victoria will be happy to make your acquaintance. Oh, no. The encyclopedia. A sauce hunter. Oh, what a sight for sauce Sicilian eyes. Me? I, I live alone here in town. It used to be that my younger brother Tom and I were practically joined at the hip, but that's all okay. changed now. Oh, he's always been something of a rascal. Calling his petty hooliganism adventuring and endlessly worrying my poor mind. Oh, but of course, I've always loved that scamp to bits. For my part, I encouraged him to join the Legion. Even got him sparring with Captain Orius now and then. But then those blasted, fabulous five came into town. That band of. Well, I don't even know what to call them. Well, they're his heroes. And I simply couldn't prevent him from going to see them. That one meeting was all it took for Tom to run off with them on some mission to God knows where. Okay. Chronology for dumbbells. Ah. The night I need something, something more advanced. Princess Buttercup Even with the blushing of Octi. Esmeralda the does have a propensity for all things naughty, hasn't she? An orc. In the name of Amun Hor. I bid thee, Tujda, get a hal. Be welcome, human. My library is yours, as I hope your friendship is mine. I am Victoria, daughter of Mayor Cecil. Oh, I know what you're thinking. The likeness isn't exactly striking, is it? No, what? When I was very young, you see, I must have been cast out by my tribe, for I was found in a wicker basket floating past Sicile towards the sea. 
the fisherman who found me would have drowned me on the spot, for I am an orc after all. But praise be Amund Hall. Dear Cecil was among the gathered crowd, and he took pity on the exiled infant that chance had put in his way. He raised me like I was his own, this kindest of souls, taught me the language of men, their customs and their letters. Thus, I became the city's librarian, a position I uphold with no small diligence and pride. Demonology for dumbbells. Indeed you may. The wisdom I here hoard is yours to peruse and even take with you. All I can ask is that you return the books you borrow so that others may enjoy them too. Okay. Demonology for dumbbells. Ugh. I need something more advanced. Mm, the Encyclopedia Kelton. Demonium. I know it by heart. Teleron will have to pay yet another fine. Omnis autum mali demonis quam. What? What is this? Who are you to interrupt my musings? By Naga the Protector, they have the manners of boors, these boatmen of Sysiel. Oh, but perhaps I spoke too soon. Perhaps I was mistaken, for you hardly resemble the local fisher folk, which, incidentally, is a compliment of copious dimensions indeed. No. A source hunter, that is what you are. Yes, a stalker of sorcery, a chaser of charms pernicious. In truth, I cannot go so far as to say it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, for I take no pleasure in the company of man. But it may just be to our mutual advantage to join forces nonetheless. Why, simply because you hunt source and I, Jehan, hunt demons? You are aware, of course, that quite often both of these pests frequent the same shadowy pools of infamy. Now, I hate what I hunt, but I respect its cunning. Should I not, I'd have been decimated body and soul long since. This is a sentiment I'm quite certain you must recognize. Let there be strength in cunning, yes but also in numbers. The calculus of wizardry I offer you, the might on one condition, okay. that on our joint travels we will never deal with demonic entities, no matter how tempting their propositions. Okay. Very well. There will be no deals with demons. Uh -huh. Nothing good ever came from bargaining with those devils anyway. Most gratifying. I see you are firm of purpose and thereby ready to descend. Descend into the madness that is sorcery. Into the depths where demons dance. Gladly shall I follow you into the abyss. Onward, blood and triumph await. Okay, super. De ces là. Now this is valuable. Who placed this book here? A volume of poetry among novels? Rack. Mayhem. Oui, mais je le cherche. Ah. Ok. Et on va redescendre. Pas envie de, de voler ici. Et on va peut-être reparler, reparler rapidement au maire, Cécile, parce qu'il avait d'autres choses intéressantes à dire. My darling adopted daughter, my pride and joy. I introduced her to my library when she was a girl. She quickly proved that the 
preconceptions we humans hold of orcs as savage beasts are patently false. If you're looking for something special, just ask. She knows every book by heart. Papa's smart little cookie. <laughs> Maxine, what in heaven's name are you? Oh, you mean the mongrel that's always skulking about the place. I spent months trying to teach that worthless hound how to fetch, and it sat through every lesson looking at me as if I were an idiot. Man's best friend, my eye. I've always been more fond of cats myself. Oh yes, the fabulous five. Aren't they simply fantastic? I'm sure they'll get the job done in no time, especially with your expert hand lent to their cause. That machine Ahu built is an abomination. It must be stopped at all costs. I bet the wizard himself could provide some advice regarding how to destroy it. He's the mad scientist who crafted it after all. Ok, bon. On va retourner là. Parce qu'il faut euh, qu'on aille parler au petit chat. Hop là. Said to have once been worn by a far off Maharaja's best hunting cheater. Like the king of all cats, I looked when I wore it. A gift bestowed upon me by a princess whom I had kept company during a long and perilous voyage. A precious band of gemstones, lost as I was tossed around by the waves like a ball in a game of catch. Comme l'impression qu'il va falloir que je le retrouve. Worn perhaps by a crab who fancies himself a Caesar with it. Only I could be the Caesar again, and Maxine my Caesarina. By all means. Okay. Okay. On va ça. Ouais, merde. Bon. Ok, ah oui. Conrad. Ouais, quoi que, non. Donc là, j'ai été la voir, elle. Ah, mais il y a plein de trucs là. Ah. Ok. Ah, on approche, on approche. Any real damage? Are you joking? I've been mauled. I'll be disfigured for life. Ah, come on with the dramatics. It's not as bad as all of that. Hey, who's that then? Come on. Stand where my good eye can see you. Easy, Tull. That's the source hunter you're talking to. She may have the look of a woman if you squint hard enough, but she's no more than a wild animal. We got reports of a strange looking outsider skulking through the town with her bow drawn. I found her crouched behind a tree, taking aim at a fat old rat trotting along the city walls. I tapped her on the shoulder to see what was what. And the beast startled like a wild cat and lunged right at me. Bit Tullia right in the face, she did. It wasn't pretty, and now it's got a chunk ripped off it to boot. Enjoy it while you can, Ver. There's not another legionnaire in the cohort that'll have you if I go rabid. 
I'd say you ought to take her off our hands if you had the space. Though we couldn't guarantee she'd do more than piddle on the floor and maul your furniture. Ice blue eyes narrow beneath a heavy brow streaked with sweat and dust. Her hands tense into claws, held at the ready. Her brow knits together, but something in her pose relaxes. She I am bear daughter. I have not come here to find trouble with the screech woman. She only startled me. And you, you are a source hunter. I have heard many tales of your order. Your history is long and honorable. This woman here, the one who now plots her revenge, she crept behind me while I was hunting, and I only defended myself. I, I would not hurt an innocent screech woman on purpose. But soon their swords were upon me, and they, they forced me into this cage meant for dogs. Mother would rip the fur from her chest if she could see how they keep me. You don't think it's infected, do you? Careful, Source Hunter. If I keep my eyes off this cage... Il y a une porte, mais il y a une porte ici. Il y a encore une porte ici. Ah bah tiens, le chef. Do what you must in Sysil, but don't make waves and don't interfere with the Legion's affairs, you hear? I'm Captain Aureus, if you must know, leader of the Legion in Sysil. Okay. which I mean I have the enviable task of commanding a battalion of walking dead. For I fear it may well be but a matter of time before the undead undo all my soldiers and turn them into dribbling hordes of their own misshapen number. Gods above! Some politician snuffs it and everyone's in an uproar! Ridiculous! I told that wizard brat of an Ahu not to bother. He just had to send for source hunters, didn't he? Bloody magicians. They see a pigeon poop and think sorcery is afoot. Nevertheless, I want to be kept in the loop. Understand? I am in command of this town. Not Mayor Cecil, not Ahu, and definitely not some hotshot source hunter. So investigate Jake's death if you feel so inclined, but report back to me the moment you discover something out of the ordinary. The scene of the crime is over at the King Crab Inn. You can tell the guard you have my permission to enter. Now off with you! Esmeralda is Jake's wife. Well, well, widow. Everyone in town, down to the crabs on the beach, is convinced she killed him. Now, the girl has the reputation of being a flirt. There is that. But that doesn't suffice as evidence, wouldn't you say? Or do source hunters rely on hearsay alone, perhaps? That certainly would explain some of the cock-ups you lot have made in the past. What? You're going to stand there and claim with a straight face your order never wrongly tortured and executed anyone? Hardly. But I won't stand for such nonsense. If you bring evidence before me, I'll evaluate it with perfect objectivity. The Legion relies on reason, see? Not idle superstition. <sighs> if you must. Bravo! figured that one out, did you? I haven't been stuck here for two years because we're being besieged by fluffy kittens, you know. Those brain-feasting freaks out there keep on coming, and it takes all the sword arms and all of our Who's half-baked contraptions to keep them at bay. Keeping them at bay, that is all we do. Were that I could break their backs once and for all. How am I enjoying it? Are you spoiling for a fight, Hunter? Are you? Sysil stinks of fish, reeks of orcs, and on a good day, the wind disperses the stench of decomposing corpses. I can't remember the last time I had a proper piece of steak, and by now, I wretch at the mere sight of sardines. So in conclusion, 
I am not enjoying Sysail. Okay, I'll be there. We are the pride of Rivalon, to be found and to be seen everywhere. We don't hide in the dark and lurk in corners like some I could mention. No, we protect the civilized from the barbaric, and we do so impeccably. I'd say they are looking for weak spots in our defenses. They can't make an attack over land for fear of Ahu's magical machines, so they're trying their luck by sea. They won't succeed, though. Not against the Legion. Yes, and he also spends most of his time in the guise of a cat, licking God's knows which body parts. Sex. Sorcery. He'll be seeing flying carpets next. Là-haut. Ah, c'est la rue. Ok. Ok. Ce serait bien là ici, ce serait d'avoir un. Oh. d'avoir un... Ah bah il est là le portail. Bah oui j'ai peut-être là. Ok. Euh, bah on va retourner là en fait. En tant qu'on a le droit d'y aller. Puis on va aussi après aller à... Par Conrad et tout. Par contre j'ai pas le... Ah, le collier de chat. Soit j'ai pas bien vu le long de la plage. Soit je sais pas. Praise be that Ahu the wizard built those newfangled weapons of his. So I seal what. Merci. Ah, mais non, c'est là. Pardon. Garde du corps. Ah. Non, c'est pas là. Tâche supérieure. Ah, ça va être là. Okay. Hello again. How can I help you? Psst. Mind if we keep our voices down over that sensitive subject? De Mince là. Que dois-je faire? Ah. Greeting, source hunter. I don't mean to hinder your investigation, but I can't open this door for anyone who hasn't received Captain Aureus' explicit approval. 
Not exactly the friendliest bloke, the captain, is he? Well, your reward for getting your ear chewed off is a waltz through the town's finest magical murder scene. Enjoy. Yeah, you're a bit of I think it would be wise to inspect the councillor's corpse and see what clues we can find. Everything we do seems to fortify your abilities. I suppose your example has inspired me to reach heights I never before envisioned. That inspiration hardly flows one way, my friend. Okay. Bon, on va prendre le niveau. On va prendre le niveau. Alors, euh toi t'as une arme à deux mains toi Ah, toi tu peux voler. Non, mais toi je vais te mettre un ma deux mains. Et Oh, ça c'est pas mal ça. Hmm. Eh ben, je vais prendre euh, Brut et Peste, tiens. 
Ouf. Et Ursulina. Moi, je vais te mettre du charisme. Ah, J'ai déjà du charisme. Et tiens, je vais te mettre du charisme. Let's go. Et... Euh Ah non, c'est pas bon, bon ça. Sensu. Ah, ça c'est pas mal ça. Mais ça, c'est aussi bien pour le. Pour le tank. Ah, c'est pas mal ça. Ça c'est pas mal. C'est bien aussi ça. Tiens, tac. Let's go. Petite erreur d'élite. Ok. Ça, ça augmente les dégâts et les chances de coups critiques. Ok, il y a la volonté là. Ça, c'est pas mal. Moi, je peux prendre le crochetage. Ça, c'est cool. Ah, ouais, elle répare, d'accord. Ok. Ça serait cool ça. Ouais, ça c'est bof. Ah ben non, mais ça je peux pas le prendre. D'accord. Tac. Après, je ferai peut-être l'arc la prochaine fois parce que je pense que en fonction de ce que je récolterai. Et toi Non, toi t'as pas up. Ah d'accord. Ah d'accord, dommage. Eh, mais toi du coup, toi, tu peux identifier toi Mettre du savoir. Ah non. Toi, tu deviendras mon maître du savoir. Ok. Euh... Je pense qu'il va falloir que j'aille là. Grotte de l'étrange.
J'ai pas de... Dommage que j'ai pas de marqueur. Enfin, bon, bref. Pour... Qu'est-ce qu'il y a par là Ah mais tiens, là il y a là, une tête là. Ah Sans terminer. Pardon. Excite you. I'll delight you. I'll beguile you. I Don't pity me. No, sir. Just a few years ago, I was the all singing, all dancing, all sensational darling of the town. People came from far and wide just to witness my amazing act. When Reginald came, he brought some fantastic prop with him. Now, have you seen it? A talking head! Now, I never expected a silly gimmick like that to be my main competition. It seems even my usually choosy audience has been taken in by that hack's little gizmo. I'm a man of skill, sleight of hand, feats of wit, and pure entertainment. This curio is ruining what used to be an art. And even when there's no crowd to speak of, Oh, Reggie still has at least one fan calling bravo and hee-haw. Sure as the sun sets that one devotee attracts five more, and those five more all curious about the commotion. I don't know how he inspires such loyalty with less talent contained between his hat and his boots than I've in my crusty hag. And who are you supposed to be? Oh, I should have been one of the greats. But here I am gathering peasants to watch peasants perform broadside pageants for peanuts. No, really? I hadn't noticed. If not for this ridiculous condition, you'd know me as the king's favorite thespian. Don't you have an impressive library here in Sizeal? I'm sure that beast of a librarian could rustle something up for you. Take it up with Katarina. She's the master of this pig circus after all. Trop bien. Ate your dog? Orc sunk your ship? No matter! You're at Katarina's fair, a veritable summer home for troubled minds. Won't you take a seat and let our esteemed entertainers whisk you off to a better place? Well, I'm Katarina the Fair, fairest first lady of the fair, of course. I do love making the acquaintance of my patrons, and who knows which of them might become one of my performers. I've an open stage in want of talent, and I've often found the best young performers among the rank and file of the audience. The theater's fever has overcome you, has it? Marvelous! I do so love a fresh green talent ready to bloom. But I support players, not writers, you see. If you want to perform here, you'll have to find tried and true material. Check the library and see if any of the classics there interest you. 
I'd love to see a source hunter's take on one of the old standards. Right away, my dear, just as fast as your boots can carry you. You found something decent to perform, I trust, and you've gathered enough actors to do it justice? Speak to Master Chaucer if you're ready for your debut. He alone can adequately prepare you for the stage. Performers, showmen, show all of them. Sizeal, what you're made of. Mm-hmm. Come on! Come on! Touch it! What is it this time? Katarina's given the go-ahead. Tell me when you're ready to begin, and I'll show you to your places and gather you whatever crowd of drunken yokels can be prevailed upon to watch you flail about on stage. Ready for your trial by fire, you mean? <laughs> There's no more savage foe than an audience, my dear. But I'm sure you'll do just fine. May the show begin! Wouldn't we all? But unlike a true Thespian, you haven't a <gasps> scrap of material to work with. Must I spell out every step along the way? to the library OK bon trouve là c'est ça du tout que je voulais The great Sigurd and his rainbow of war machines It is said that the time for a ghost What are you looking at me for There's a great show going on right in front of you and look there stands the world famous Reginald the entertainer Better check it out if you don't want to miss the time of your life. Huh. I'm nothing but your average man taking in the best show I've ever seen. I'm amazed and astounded that for a meagre gold coin or two, I can take in this first-rate entertainment all day long. Well, I've stumbled into quite the fine gig. I just let my appreciation for Reggie's work be known, and he slips me a few gold coins in return. My voice happens to carry pretty far. Cyseal hears me. Cyseal wants to see what the fuss is all about. And let me tell you, this amazing show just can't be beat. Well, join the crowds what I do best, and I'd be glad to do it for your little show. 100 gold up front, and yours will be the hottest ticket in Cyseal. You're lost, buddy. You know where to find me if you change your mind about your sad little crowd, though. Hey, you there! Take a seat! Prepare to laugh your head off, cry your eyes out, and teeter on the edge of your seat with an original tale from Stefan, the talking severed head! I am Reginald the Illusionist, purveyor of the most amazing artifact in Andover. This fantastical talking head! Catch the act while you can! This show will only remain in Sicil as long as there are legion soldiers to entertain. Hey, ah, yes, I know of that talentless fool. He was here entertaining the troops before I was brought in. I'm sure the hack simply bored his audience to tears until they cried for a replacement. Okay. Enter Reginald the Illusionist. We need our boys in red, happy, relaxed, and ready to fight. Not wasting their energies cringing at a fool with a depressed rabbit in a borrowed hat. Are you impressed by my prowess in the arts of entertainment? Nothing attracts a crowd like a crowd. And that crowd warmer has increased my profits by 60%. Simply by showing a little honest appreciation for our show. That's right. A talking head? And he doesn't just talk. He'll weave you a yarn so fantastic, you'll be begging to hear just one more, and just one more. It's quite a story how I found him, too. Ah! I obtained this curio by some rather sensational means. Bravo! You see, I 
was diving in search of a rare medicinal sea herb. I volunteer at the local children's apothecary on weekends. In the shallows around Sysium's open black cove, when I spotted something amazing. The chest belonging to the fabled Captain Pontius. <laughs> Though the chest was stuck fast, I summoned a swell of great strength and prized it free from the ancient rock. I had the treasure of a lifetime in my very hands. But then, slurp, gulp. I was swallowed by an ordinary kraken that seemed to appear from nowhere. In the hubbub, I lost hold of my prize and watched it sink to the bottom of the beast's cavernous belly. Still, I feared only for a moment that all was futile. Before my mind's eye swam the faces of the many war widows and nephrotic orphans who would be lost without my charitable support, I knew I had to live. Grabbing fast to the hilt of a cutlass that floated by at just that moment, I summoned all my strength to slash a great gash in the creature's gut. Freeing myself from my would-be tomb, I swam as quickly as I could, first to the surface and then to the shore. It was there, along the rocky beach, that I tripped over this talking head. Strange, isn't it? Hard times, Lord Pinchpenny? Today, I think a king. A talking a head? Sigurd and what dark sorcery is this? Uh, and a talking ass. With the hills. Euh, merde, quand je fais la, bu euh, la bibliothèque, je vais aller là, s'il vous plaît. Après, je ferai. Ok, let's go la bibi. Euh, Est-ce que là je peux pas y. Could you get a friend? Indeed you may. The wisdom of. The night we see through armor. Princess Buttercup with the blushing bottom, Stead Tickle. Esmeralda does have a propensity for all things. Merde. Ah, c'était pas là, c'était là. C'était là. C'était là. Ah, cool. Celeron will have to pay yet another fine. Okay. Sprout little legs in the night. Okay. Place this book here. A volume of poetry. Ah. Ah 
Ah. Derrière les foules, voilà. The knight in see-through armor, Princess Buttercup with the blushing bottom, Stent. Oh, bien. Esmeralda does have a propensity for all forms of beauty, doesn't she? Ok, euh, faut retourner à la fête qui est par là. Qui est là. Is it this time? Ready for your trial by fire, you mean? <laughs> There's ne not planning on playing to an empty audience, are you? Wait until I've gathered some victims to whip. You hear distant mutterings of curiosity as a small crowd shuffles toward your stage. A few moments longer, and everyone will be seated. Mm hmm. Oh, attends. Je pense qu'on n'a pas trop le choix que de... Ok. Oh. Not planning on playing to an You hear distant mutterings of curiosity as a small crowd shuffles toward your stage. A few mo now now, let's not be hasty. They may be dragging their feet, but your show is sure to knock the crowd's socks off. As soon as they settle into their seats, that is. Now now, let's not be hasty. Oh. They may be dragging their feet. But your show is sure to knock the crowd's socks off. As soon as they settle into their seats, that is. The stage is yours. Oh, come on, we haven't got all day. The audience sneers. Perhaps this isn't how they're used to the story going. Bravo! 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 Oh, I hope there's Good an show. Good show! The crowd is thrilled. Whatever will happen next is sure to excite them. Fantastic! Good show! Simply marvelous! The crowd seemed quite impressed with your delivery. Keep it up. Fantastic! Anyone's got an old tomato? A swell of unkind adjectives and four letter nouns stream upward. Is it too late to get my gold? Back? The crowd seems to wonder what you're trying to pull. Or perhaps you've got a packed punch prepared to round out the ending. Uh oh. The audience doesn't seem to like that very No, no, no. I wouldn't wait for that great first of color. Do re mi fa so la ti. Excuse me, I'm trying to prepare for the next show. Autographs will have to wait until the end. I doubt I have to tell you that I am the amazing singing Stefan. The only sentient severed head in Sicile. 
My audience sings my praises from Hill and Dale. Psst, you, 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 you're a sword hunter, aren't you? Oh, bless the seven. Oh, you've got to help me. I've been kidnapped. Uh, oh. uh, pleasure to meet you. Now, please, uh, Stefan has many fans to meet today. Uh, psst, uh, help me. Take me to Reginald's cellar. There I will reveal everything. It won't be the worst indignation I've suffered. Get on with it then. That is enough of that now. Oh no. My word. Putain mais j'avais choisi elle en fait pour y aller. Euh... Come on. Come on. What is it this time? Oh, here we go. Not planning on playing. You hear distant mutterings of curiosity as a small crowd shuffles toward your stage. A few moments longer, and everyone will be seated. Okay. Now, now, let's not be hasty. They may be dragging their feet, but your show is sure to knock the crowd's socks off. Excuse me, I'm trying to prepare for the next show. Autographs will have to wait until the end. It won't be the worst indignation I've suffered. Okay. The stage is yours. The crowd is completely appalled by your. Ok, bon bah c'est pas grave. Bon, ok. Ok. Euh... Nix en tête. À la cave de Reginald. Ah ok. Je crois que Reginald c'est le... Je crois que c'est le chef... Du... Ah Je vais réussir. Je crois que c'est lui. Non, c'est elle. Not here, not now. 
we'll be better off speaking in the privacy of the cellar. There are eyes and ears everywhere. You know the healer's clinic, don't you? Oh, uh, what is his name? Thelyron. Yes, um, behind Thelyron's house of healing, along the cliffs, you'll find Reginald's sparse little shack. There, I know we won't be overheard. There, cool. He keeps a spare key right near the place in a pen guarded by a rather lonely little sheep. You can't miss the bugger. Okay. Not here, not now. We it won't be the worst. Ok, ben, j'ai cru en fait. Bon ben on va aller voir... Euh... C'est pas là... J'ai un doute vis-à-vis hein, -vis de vis-à-vis -vis de tout ça. Il n'y a pas de cave ici là. Non. Bon. Mmh. Attends mais... Attends, simple on va... Est-ce que là ça c'est Reginald T'es l'iron Ouais, ok. Ok. The earth here seems to have been freshly fertilized and aerated. Obviously, someone. We and our shovels will do as we please. That's right. Let's get as you prepare to break. All right. Oui. Time to get digging. Here's hoping we find something worthwhile. You plunge your shovel. Okay. Ah uh, ouais. Okay, okay. Ok, ils ont prévenu. <rire> Les salauds. <rire> C'était bien joué. Alors du coup, ça va pas être... Euh... Non mais, putain. Mais... Oh les gars. Non, mais je vois, c'est pas là. Oh. Ok. Je vois vide. Putain, c'est dingue ça. Dire que par là, quand même, il y a. Oh. Non, de la falaise, putain. 
pas du tout euh, ce qu'il peut y avoir d'autre. Hein. Ah. Fuck it. Another perfect heist. You sneak with the subtlety of a tried and true cat burglar. Why, thanks. I rather do, don't I? Ha! A few more heists and I'll be a fat cat in no time. No doubt about it. Your easygoing sleight of hand impresses me greatly and will certainly continue to be highly advantageous to us both. Okay. Je vois pas où... Euh... Je vois pas où on doit aller maintenant. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I understand. Should be there. There must be some way to open this. Ah, oui. Ok. En Madora, tu vas reposer la tête ici. Not here, not now. We'll be better off speaking in the privacy of the cellar. There are eyes and ears everywhere. It won't be the worst indignation I've suffered. Ah, c'est que... Ah ah Ok. Je comprends mieux maintenant. Ah, a little privacy at last. After the earshot of that contemptible jester, 
we can finally speak freely. Where shall we begin? My true name is Nick. In life, I was an entertainer aboard the ship of the famed Pontius Pirate. I once dared to defy him, and he savagely beheaded me for the attempt. Little did I know the abuse was only beginning. A wandering sorcerer, mad as the day is long, found my severed head on the beach and resurrected me. I spent months in his company listening to him blather on about his every inane opinion. When I asked him to return my head to my body, it, it must be in the Black Cove still, he became enraged and tossed my head into the sea. Reginald stumbled upon me some days later and consigned me into his horrid little show. I know not how long I've been entertaining slack-jawed imbeciles at the size seal fair. All I know is I just can't take you anymore. More than anything. But the chances are so slim with the Black Cove utterly infested with Pontius's undead cronies. My poor lost body is among them, sightless and silent in their vile company. For all I know, they're using it as a coat rack. Hmm. Traveller, if there were any way you would brave the cove's depths and reunite me with myself, you'd be doing me the only kindness I'd have received in as long as my poor memory serves. That charlatan doesn't have a lick of his own talent. So he begs, borrows, and beats it from those of us with a real vision for the stage. What I wouldn't give to give old Reggie a swift kick in the jugglers. Oh, to have legs again. It won't be the worst. Ok. Et Madora. Ça, je vais l'envoyer. Jean. Jean. Et tout le reste, ce sont des flèches. Trié par poids. Très bien. Ok, muy bien. Super super, euh, et ben on va peut-être aller voir maintenant. Il y a trop de monde à aller voir. Peut-être aller voir Conrad, tiens. Et il doit être là. Okay. Oh, 
finally got Thor cast in a love note with the Lizard Council as well. Ahoy, sailor! Are you enjoying the fresh winds of Sicil? Aye, that Cecil's worse than a rooster. Crowing all around town about matters he ought to know. I better kept quiet. Well, if you know about the sap, I suppose you also know it's gone without a trace. For my part, I haven't a clue where it could have gone. Overboard, stolen, or vanished into thin air. Though I'm quite eager to see it return. I've got a reputation to uphold, you know. Wouldn't hurt to ask some of my men. I tried myself, but sailors tend to be a bit tight-lipped when they're afraid of getting one another in some trouble. Seaman's code, you know, not to rat out your fellow sailor. You took the Duchess of Bedwell's carriage for a joyride. Short, here, inside seal. Bah! Of all the cursed humps of rock to land on, Conrad chooses this one. Star for what now? No, never heard of it. Much less seen it. Check with. Okay. Speaking of useful jaw, that would solve. Here in Sicil. Star. Of all. Now that you mention it, I noticed Beemar, a fellow merchant travelling with us, carrying a sealed box off the ship during the attack. At the time, I figured he was just escaping with his personal effects. But it could well have been that staff you're talking about. Well, sure, I saw him slip off the ship, but I have a clue where he could possibly be now. Captain Conrad's the man to ask for such matters. Heard anything about the whereabouts of the magic stick yet? What? That weasel has it for sure. But I'll tell you this. I didn't speak of that stuff to a soul on board. If he's the one who took it, he must have known it was on the ship before stepping foot on her decks. I'm sure he'll make a run for it, probably by boat. I'd look for him on an out-of-sight beach somewhere. He's probably there now, trying to launch a vessel in private. If he hasn't already escaped, that is. Okay. Je vais mettre à côté d'une porte pour tester. Voilà, ici. Non, mais elle est où la pierre Je cherche la pierre. J'espère que je l'ai pas vendu. Tomcat, and now there's a perfect stranger in my bathroom. Get out, will you? Mm hmm. Ah, stop. Ah, j'aurais dû sauvegarder. Ah, il est perdu. Magical pyramid, eh? Frivolous and lecherous magic, more like. Leave my house before the divines punish you for your aberrant ways. Out now, if you please. This room is private. Oh, 
Ready to advance, ready to defend. What can I do for you, comrade? Ask away, my friend, ask away. Always helps to know a thing or two about who's covering your back against the gnashing hordes, eh? More than I'd hoped, comrade. I don't know what in tarnation's gotten into the townsfolk here, but there's enough dark magic running roughshod to topple a small mountain. There's Mayor Cecil's doings for one, and the mysteries of our master Thalron for another. And on top of it all, the feline menace is lurking at every hearth and shadow. Now, don't get me wrong, I think the mayor's a decent sort, even if he can't hear farther than the tip of his nose. But from what I've heard whispered around the docks, the old guy's gotten himself mixed up in something not quite on this side of the law. I suspect an illegal source artifact or substance is the root of it, but exactly what or who's given it to him, I can't say. And since I haven't technically been assigned to Sicil, I don't have the authority to interrogate him. Bella seems like a humble doctor, but I'll bet my sword he's dealing in something darker and splints and tonics. A loose-lipped legionnaire let slip that she'd seen our good doctor scale the city wall on two separate occasions, well past midnight each time. What business could he have among the undead? Hardly the habit of an innocent healer, I'd say. You mean you don't already know, comrade? Their kind can see it. It's no coincidence the Order retired them, or tried to anyhow, to such an aptly named little town. Way back when, the settlement was chartered as a stronghold for source hunters to keep watch over the borders of the Phantom Forest. Don't let the name fool you, though. These days, the forest is little more than a smattering of trees and ruins. A perfect posting for an old bull in her dotage like yours truly. <laughs> In the days of old, though, the forest played host to source devils of every make and kind. Hunter's Edge was a settlement of source hunters tasked with watching over the border of the forest and putting down anything smacking a source that might creep out of it. By now, it's been centuries since anything more dangerous than a badger has come out of those woods. By and by, the source hunters moved out and regular folks set up shop. The town's charter requires that at least one of our kind remain to keep the watch. Ok. Retourner au port. Par contre là le. Hmm, interesting devices. These pygmies among pyramids. They may be small of stature, but their potential is gigantic. Deceivingly clever. It is a trait all demonic machinations share. Yes, demonic. So very obvious to the trained eye. These apparatuses have been forged among the voids of the outer realms where the light of stars does not reach. You do well to treat them with the utmost care. Perhaps it would even be for the best if you sling them into the reaches of infinity that surround the shelter plane. Better safe than sorry. It is an uncommonly trite thing to say, but it applies to all things demon dreamt and devised. you agree with me or not always remember this hunters always that when demons are in play you are the hunted and that it takes stupendous cunning and strength to escape their snares the very moment you are certain you have them in your grip that is the moment their traps spring and it is their grip that shatters your soul dueling with demons is like playing chess against an opponent with queens for pawns. They sit and grin while your pieces slip in the sweaty fear that drops from your beleaguered brow. Ok. On va quand même récupérer euh, tout ça là.
qui les a ces pierres là Non. Seven grant abundance. Hmm. Trop bien. Ok. Plenty of fish in the sea, but I've got the foulest of the lot on my racks. Ok. C'est d'autres trucs qui servent à rien. Voilà, tu fais 16-24. 16-24, et avec le 1, 17-29. Marque à deux mains. mètres. Un peu con parce que je crois que j'ai une arbalète là. Euh, ah non, j'ai pas une arbalète. Bon, on verra. On verra, on verra. Mais tu peux. Tu peux peut-être. Euh... Ok, non. Oh là c'est un ouvrier, il a pas un marchand là. Merde. Euh... Date. Ah ben voilà. Je vais vendre des trucs moi. Soyons clairs. Elle se vend pas.
سلام Zone 16, bah filme-moi 76 hein. Non Ok, non. Tac. Vas-y, let's go. Terminé. Et voilà, on va s'arrêter là. Puis la prochaine fois, nous irons. Hop là. Nous irons. Ici, la grotte de l'étrange. Et on va aller s'en rapprocher un peu. Hop là. Tor. C'est de discuter avec les légionnaires. These gates are to remain closed at all times. Captain's orders. Hmm, will I'll be a little red imp's uncle, the source hunter. Sorry for the gruff treatment. I didn't recognize you right away. Please tell me, how can I aid the investigation? You can see security's tighter than ever around here since that surprise attack the Orcs put on a fortnight ago. They did enough damage to shake up Ahu and Captain Aurea something fierce. Okay. We can only hope to hold back the undead and these left field Orc attacks long enough for reinforcements to arrive. You don't look like you're quite ready to head out into the wilds to me. You may have the right number of champions in your party, yet in experience, I think you're lacking. Of course, the choice is yours, but are you sure you want to venture out? I certainly hope you know what you're doing, Source Hunter. Right, open her up, Legionnaires. Okay. Look alive, my good man. Ah d'accord. Bon a priori euh, c'est pas encore tout à fait mon niveau donc euh, on continuera d'explorer. C'est Il reste encore plein d'endroits à voir je crois. Si on regarde là, ouais. on a toute cette partie là à regarder. Là je pourrais peut-être confondre. Euh nos amis nos... Euh... peut-être confondre euh... Esmeralda Ok, non, on va rien de plus à dire alors. Nous pourrons 
Ils nous embêtaient à aller là. Tiens, c'est qui ça Qui sont ces gens Ok. Ah, mon One coin or two, noble spirit. One coin or two. Oh, I am a happy man, and certainly a humble one now. It turns out losing it all has its own share of benefits. Ah, a fool once was I. And ever seeking greater satisfaction than that which I already enjoyed? In my folly, I sought the counsel of those notorious Watcher statues on the Western Cliffs. Their guidance ruined any small fortune I might have had, but certainly granted me humility. I'd heard they were not to be trusted, that they gave fools advice to the fools who sought them, but somehow I believed that I was the exception. They told me that I would find fame and renown if I renounced my worldly possessions, all my worldly possessions, and became a great figure of piety and humility. Okay. Yeah, no. Fire, the most thorough cleanser, was my method. But as my house burned in front of me, I felt no elevation, no piety. Only the sudden weight of my own idiocy upon my very soul. May the soul of Astarte smile upon you, kind stranger. Allez, ça a été sympa. Ah, cruel fortune. So those statues told him he'd have to renounce his earthly possessions to become a spiritual leader, did they? Makes sense to me. How can you explore the spirit when you're busy keeping up with the Joneses? Rivalon's finest work up mighty fine appetites serving the seven. Indeed. He said himself that he's finally learned humility. Maybe he made the right choice, really. Greetings! These stalls are for our legion troops. Rivalon's finest work up mighty fine appetites serving the seven. Chicken has the right to live too. Pardon him? What a silly notion. Such a lovely day calls for a nicely cooked chicken. Well, on the Plenty of tasty dishes can be made without meat, but with equal nutritional value. Set him free. If this chicken belongs to the chef, well, setting it free would be the theft. Yes, I. Good morning, 
chicken, 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 viens chez papa. <rire> yes. Ah, fuck. Chicken, 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 viens chez papa. Ah, fuck. Yes, I. No, we'll do as I say. On peut pas lui parler. On va parler à Pépère là. Je laisse ma chicken escape. Looks like it's your lucky day, Jack. Now that the troops are getting nothing but the cornbread. <rire> tu as pas mal de choses, euh, grand. Quartier maître. Très bien ça. Qu'est-ce qu'il a à nous dire lui Well, source hunter, you come to the right place you have. I got every style of equipment to fit you from head to foot. If it's a trade you're after. Très bien ça. Ah des crochets. Oh putain, trop cher. Ok, dommage pour nous. Non, je veux pas, merci. Here lies Kimberly, finally. <rire> ah, C'est glauque. Ouais Murphy, il y a un petit pet. Ah Oh putain Attends mais il y a combien de points là On sait pas. Oh merde Bah ouais, mais j'ai tout perdu. <rire> Dommage. En fait... Alors attends. Non, non, non. Ok. Ça, c'est combien de points, ça C'est 4 points. Là, je peux m'éloigner de 4 points. Si je me mets là. Pouf.
Yes, trop bien. Et voilà. Pas de problème. Looks like that dog is awfully agitated. Is he trying to tell me something? Seven children. Where are you, Jake? Are you playing without me? Je vais faire toutes les tombes. Hein. Ok. That's that's a sheep. Jake? Where are Where's you? Jake's corpse? Are you here? Ah, oh, j'aurais dû sauvegarder. Eh ouais, je m'en doutais. Dave. Wow. Ah super. Si va. Très bien. Ah what? Eh hey, il a. Oh non, mais tu es chiant. Non, 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 non. Et ça, moi, j'accepte pas ça. Oh, et là, c'est moi qui ai déconné, là. Enfin, on va pas déterrer Dave, parce que là, c'est un peu, c'est un peu tendu, un peu tendu. Ok. Non, 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 non. merde. Ok. Voilà. She was killed less than a week after she joined. Here she lies. Ok. Et du coup, euh, ça fait quoi si on déterre euh, son truc Tu vas, tu vas râler ou pas Back from there, savage. I'll not let you disturb my daughter's 
Ok. C'était juste pour voir, hein. c'était juste pour tester. Et du coup, on va rester... Euh... Ok. Oh, c'est quoi ça Eh les gars Pillars of creation, we topple them, though their spirits are so very pure. They are. They do not scheme. They do not deceive. Perfidy. That is the human condition. This kind, this trusty beast. He is man's best friend, though man does not deserve one. same mind because you are human all too human and deep down you place trust in your fellows but one day a stab in the back will tell you I am right I know for I have lain on silken cushions in marble palaces and I have lain on wet leaves in soggy forests vastly do I prefer the latter Oh, the occasional thorn may pierce your skin, but at least you are aware the sting is not that of a poisoned needle hidden by aspiring rivals. In the animal kingdom only, one is free. Beware the wolf, yes, beware the bear, but their rules are honest. The kingdoms of man... They are built upon the blood of the ones not strong enough to lay claim to power. This dog, it is a creature worthy of your affection. The ones you see around you, the men and women of this world, they are not. Okay. Hmm. Oh, des crochets, trop bien. Non. Oui, 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 je suis trop peu compré, je sais. Est-ce qu'il l'a rangé, ce tonneau Jeter l'objet, j'en avais pas un autre. Pourquoi Jeter l'objet, voilà. Oula. Ah, fuck. Ah oh bah ça va alors. Hop là. Ursuline, tu vas sauvegarder tes points. Jarrant.
Paf. Sauvegarde tes points aussi. Et voilà, très bien. Allez, tiens-toi. Bon. Super. Oui, il s'est rendu de la vie. Super. Ah, J'aurais dû euh, faire lui. Oh non Bon, voilà, très bien ça Voilà. Super C'est cool C'est rondement mené, je crois que j'ai reçu, reçu zéro dégâts. Oula Oh putain Ça j'avais pas fait gaffe. Ok, s'il te plaît. Oh. 
Ok. Donc toi. Toi, tu dois être sensible au froid, toi. The fuck. Bon, bah. Ben. Ok. Vas-y, prends l'écrasant. Boum. Ok, super, moi. Je vais aller là, comme ça. Bon. Oh, il a pas morflé, lui. Oh merde, je suis en, en brûlure. Fuck it. Ok. Merde. Oh merde. Ouch. Manqué, manqué. Eh 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 eh. Ah, toi t'as pas fini toi. Toi tu peux. Eh ben. Bless the seven, I am restored. 
Voilà, il... il récupère pas beaucoup, hein, le petit père, là. Ok, voilà, je trouve ça va. Ah, il y a différents chemins, du coup. Oula. Stop. Ça va 88 sur... Petite potion de poing. Ah. Ah ouais. Allez. On va faire ça. Ah. Wolfgang, mais non, Wolfgang. C'est un monsieur, lui. You see a shady looking figure fishing coins of gold out of the muddy water at pools beneath the well overhead. His movements are quick and nervous, but nevertheless, he seems to enjoy stuffing what cash he can find into the many pockets of his shabby garb. So absorbed is he in his coin hoarding that at first he doesn't notice your presence. Suddenly, though, he pauses, looks up, and quick as a cat its talons, readies two daggers. Your friendly tone of voice has immediate effect. The man quickly relaxes his aggressive stance, sheaths his weapons, and pulls a quill and a scrap of parchment out of one of his pockets. Dexterously, he writes down a couple of phrases, then holds it out for you to read. Mew, can't speak. You look professional. You the source out of the wizard asked for. Excitedly, the man turns over the scrap and pens a few more lines. Name's Wolglar. I admire you. No hero like Source Hunter. Siphon is dead end. Please let me join you. Wolglar nods enthusiastically and pulls a couple of ripped parchment pieces out from his vestments. Hastily, he covers them with words and pushes them in your hands, one after the other. Been mute since I was a kid. Sorcerers took my voice. People think I'm stupid. I'm not. Give money, food where I can. Steal if I must. Not from poor folks. I'm a good sneak. Good fighter. Good with logs. See things you don't. Want to help you. I'm useful. Want to catch sorcerers. Make them pay. Please. Wargraf notices there's no room left in your party and shrugs his shoulders. Nothing. Okay. Ok, il y a Wolfgang qui est là, mais ça c'est cool.
Better to detonate that mine safely than trip over it myself. Ok. Look out! I see a trap nearby. Voilà. I don't have the right tool for mining. Ok, on va l'équipe juste de l'arc là. Équipé. Ok. On va pouvoir désamorcer des pièges après. Oh Oh On va pouvoir... Ah, oh, ok. Fais pas de... Oh là là Ok. Et on va s'arrêter là, ça fait deux fois que je le dis déjà. Ça fait déjà deux heures et demie qu'on joue. Waouh, chou Ok, je suis là. Ok. C'est weird. Bon, a priori, je suis pas très loin d'un endroit que j'ai déjà visité, hein, mais... Oh non. Bon. Ouais, des zombies. Ok. Ok, ok, très bien. Bon, bah on va s'arrêter là. Et puis, on reprendra la prochaine fois.